In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how can, you can use the desktop version of Office 2013 with your OneDrive, Office 365, KDE accounts. Those would be the cloud-based storage that you can access through your webmail. So what you're going to do is you're going to open up a Word document, for example, on your desktop. And if you're finished typing or editing, you're going to go to File, Save As. And if your OneDrive account is already connected, you'll see it listed here under the Save As column. Now, don't be confused by the OneDrive listed here because that's a different version of OneDrive. We need to connect our OneDrive through the KDE account. So what I'm going to do is add a place, and I'm going to choose Office 365 SharePoint. That's another thing that they call the OneDrive account. So if we click on SharePoint, I'm going to type in my email address. Press next, type in my password, and then press sign in. And this will connect my account that I'm working with on the desktop to my account online. And now underneath the Save As column, you'll see OneDrive KDE staff. So if I, if I click on that, I can browse, and sometimes this takes a few minutes because it is connecting to the cloud. And it's going to open up the folders that I have already saved in my cloud. I can choose a folder here and save this document to a folder, or I can create a new folder and open that new folder. And then I can save my document in my cloud directly from the desktop version of Word. So if I want to check to make sure that that saved to my cloud, I could just open up my OneDrive and Office 365. And I already had this open, so I need to refresh. And you will see here's the folder that I created, video test. And then here is the document that I just made in the desktop version. So here it is in my cloud, and then I can click back, and there it is on the desktop version. So that's how you can create a document in the desktop and save it to your cloud um, and back up your work, or just save your, save your work and work with it on the desktop and save to the cloud.